because of people in the world who don't get a proper meal every day, um, people who suffer in diseases, starvation, and natural disasters, people who don't even have the money to have education, mostly no. No. Good afternoon. My name is Jiwon Kim, and I'm giving this speech to make people aware of the poor. Charity organizations help us to raise money, food, and of course, over awareness. One of the charity organizations I'm talking about is Alcop, made by APEC. It stands for APEC Learning Community Builders. Like its name, it means trying to educate people in the poor countries. APEC had made a program, Future Education Consortium, before Alcop was made. It has given an outline of the future education model and implemented systematic strateg strategies. Through these, through these activities, they organize a systematic human network to build a harmonious community that is now alcohol. What they help are children all over the world who don't have an education get education. What they do to reach the school is that they personally go to the country and give food and water in a little school or academy and teach them English. I picked this charity organization because I was fascinated, so fascinated at how this small company, compared to other organizations, is still processing and helping others. Member co economies have have found ways of implementing APEC's vision of international cooperation while facing the challenges of globalization and the future society. Like this, many. Many big economies and com companies have risked implementing APEC's vision, risking the little company's chances. The reason why they are hoping is to help people who are in need, including Cambodia, Philippines, and Haiti. They are giving sufficient education to children. The history of this organization is simple. It was made in the year of 2000. In March, the proposition of the APEC Cyber Education Cooperation, or ACEC, at Forum, Forum on Shared Prosperity and Harmony at Seoul. At 2001, May, the Constitution of ACEC Task 1, with the rec recognition of ACEC at the 23rd APEC HRD WG meeting at Mexico City. Exactly one year later, they had the constitution of the ACEC Task 2. In June 2003, the proposition of recognition, the proposition, um, 2003, the proposition and recognition of the APEC Learning Community for Shared Prosperity, or Alcom, at the 25th APEC. HRD w, WG. In, finally, in 2005 May, Future Education Consortium becomes the ACC Test 3 and Alcop is built. APEC needed to grow, grow uh, go through lots of meetings to make the Future Education Consortium. So I think we should always be aware of the countries and people who have debts to pay and have a lot of trouble. Donate and volunteer now. Thanks. Thank you. Now it's the presentation. Um, this is the Indu Institute of APC Collab Collaboration Education, which is Alcop, what I'm talking about. The organization, uh, organization of IEC is made by, um, right now, current executive director is Dr. Ann or Tr Dr. Ann Chuang Young. Uh, and then the president is doc, Dr. Yuan Huang Kim. The pre and the, he is also the coordinator of APEC EDNET. And then the history, like again, is the meetings and stuff like that. <coughs> and
that's from 2003 to 2005. The number of economies um, is this one. In 2003 to 2004, there was 11 economies, but now, within the next year, the next two years, there were 15, and the next it stayed the same. But in 2006 and 2007, it became 18. The yeah, um, international alcohol conference conference is uh, well. Also, I'm showing the growth of alcohol. There, in the first gen in first January 2004, 120 members were there. It grew to 250, 200, 230, and now a three now 300. Um, and then the, these are the photos of um, alcohol teaching um, kids in poor countries like Cambodians, like internet and about English. Thank you for participating. Um, and then we're at the bottom there are websites if you want.